We're here today to honor Papa Mau, who brought back to us, our people of Hawaii, the art of navigation to sail and voyage in the seas. And honor him they did, for his contributions will never be forgotten. Members of the community expressed their gratitude with a day of Hawaiian song and dance for Papa Mao, a man who gave his knowledge of celestial navigation to the people of Hawaii. He was born on the small Micronesian island of Satawal, where at the age of four, he started to learn the skills of celestial navigation. At age 18, he was able to complete voyages to other islands, and at the age of 20, he was initiated as a full-fledged navigator. In Micronesia, he was nicknamed Mao, or Strong, because he was always at sea, regardless of the weather. In Hawaiian, Mao means to perpetuate, which is exactly what he did. In 1973, a group called the Polynesian Voyaging Society set out to build the Hokulia, a traditional sailing canoe in order to sail to Tahiti and to touch base with their lost culture. The group asked Papa Mao if he would share his knowledge on how to navigate the open ocean by simply using the sun, moon, and stars. Mao agreed to help, and this one single gesture opened the doors for all future navigators. Following his work on the Hokulia, he then lent his expertise to this double-hull canoe, the Makali'i, which was built in Waimea. He has spent the last 30 years teaching generations of Hawaiians how to navigate the ocean using nothing but traditional methods. He has also earned the title of Grand Master Navigator, receiving an honorary PhD from the University of Hawaii. And he's been honored at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington as the most important influences in the resurgence of cultural pride in the Pacific. Now that his work is done, he has decided to return to his homeland. In an effort to give thanks and to celebrate Mao's life, the people of Hawaii have built a voyaging canoe for Papa Mao and for the people of Micronesia. But this canoe is actually really a gift from everybody in Hawaii. Maori's touch uh, multi levels of people, and so all of those people that he touched and um, was a part of their lives is from all of them. So now it is left up to the younger generations to carry on the cultural traditions that has been given back to Hawaii so that the legacy of Papa Mao will live on.